In Nancy Drew Midnight in Salem, you can earn achievements which are the same in-game as well as in Steam. Some actions you automatically earn from simply playing through the game. There are a few that are optional or will require multiple gameplay passes to achieve them, particularly at the end of the game. From the main menu in the game, go to Extras, then Achievements, to review your progress. These awards, again, are the same in the Steam Achievements list. Egged. Find the literal Easter egg by simply locating and clicking on the golden egg Found sitting it. in the plant by the, in the Perry house. A.W. Find a strange key. Pick up the key on the ground once the book thief in Austria vanishes. Creepy message. Repair the shredded letter in Perry house. This is an optional puzzle. Welcome to Salem. Complete this tour. Happy Halloween. Carve a dozen pumpkins and place them on all the candles uh, with plates throughout the game. Yes. Curse not the darkness. Nancy's beliefs are challenged. This is an automatic award. This is from seeing the scare scene. Breakfast. Make way too many Johnny cakes. After you make the first round of breakfast, return to the breakfast and make extra designed cakes for the other characters. Make the pirate, Frankenstein, werewolf, ghost, pumpkin, witch, and cat by simply making more cakes and then you'll acquire those designs. Investigate everything. Read every piece of evidence by looking in all 20 drawers in the evidence room. Interesting. Investigate everyone. Gather alibis from everyone for each crime. The arson, as well as the theft in Austria. Everyone's chores. Help Lauren in her shop. Make three remedies, which is about one round of playing with the herbs. You'll know you've completed a round when Nancy backs away. Get stock from Elle. Decipher the coded note. Once you solve this cipher, you get this award. It's right there. Have your tea time interrupted. This is an automatic award for watching this cut scene in the graveyard as long as you do not skip it. Who is it? Who's there? Observant. Complete the CCTV timeline. Yes. Ergo, ergo. Discover the plot behind the hauntings by finding the ergo in the water pump right here by Lauren's house. Open Sesame for opening the secret passage with the lantern. Family, solve the circle riddle, which is also known as the wheel of the year puzzle. A narrow escape, flee the ghostly terrors. This is simply by exiting the tunnels and arriving here. Heritage, this is one of the three options for the end game. You'll have to replay the game in order to get the other two option awards. For this one, Lauren and Tigran share the Hathorn estate. You read the letter tucked in Lauren's book at her herb station, and then you'll hand over the Book of Apologies Apologies and Francis Tuttle's will at the end of the game during the confrontation scene. The will. The Hathorn house estate goes to Lauren. At the endgame confrontation, you only choose to hand over Francis Tuttle's will. This is also one of the three options for the endgame. The book. This is the last option for the endgame. The Hathorn House estate goes to the descendants of the accused at the end of confrontation when you choose to hand over only the Book, Book of, of Apologies. Apologies. Trivia Tamer, for answering the trivia question correctly at the end of the game. There are five questions and here are their answers. Master Sleuth, for solving the puzzles on Master Detective. Here are all the puzzles that are affected by the Master Sleuth level. Another case solved for solving the case. An automatic award once you finish the game.